This City of Light, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose, with artwork for the opening and thumbnail image by Yane on Pixiv. You can find a link to Yane's Pixiv in the description box. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment. If you aren't sure what to comment, put Super Mario. Please enjoy This City of Light, Chapter 9. Adrian Agrest, Paris, France, the 9th of December. Adrian looked up at the sound of tapping on his bedroom window. Ladybug? He smiled before he could stop himself. Hey, he said, opening it for her. Hey. She put an arm across his shoulders as he reached to study her hips as she stepped in. I got you something. Food? No. Chicken nuggets? What? No. Chicken nuggets from Donald's. Oh, my. Ladybug sighed and slid her hand off. You're ridiculous. Thanks. I do it on purpose. I got you, she began, walking over to the coffee table and plopping down next to it. A gingerbread house. A gingerbread house? She grinned. A Super Mario gingerbread house? Adrian gasped, and she giggled. It's a good thing he wasn't masked up, because his eyes would have dilated and she'd tease him about it every Christmas season hereafter. He cleared his throat and made his way over, sitting down with his back in perfect posture and her giggles rolled to belly laughter as he stuck his nose up for the theatrics of it all. Guess what I did yesterday, he asked, not addressing the box he was desperately trying not to study. Hmm, tried sushi for the first time? You know that's not true. We've been sushi together like 20 times. Figured out the difference between a chickpea and a garbanzo bean. Oh, we've been over this. Same thing. Oh! She flashed her teeth, and he prepared his groan. Taylor Swift surprise released another album! He shook his head. I wish. That'd be more exciting. Okay, what is it then? I applied to college last night. Her hand froze over the packaging, as if she had to rethink opening it. You did? She turned to him, all traces of joking falling away. You... you actually submitted it? Adrian knew it wasn't meant to be a dig, but it still hurt a bit. Yeah, paid the application fee and everything. Application fee? It's to where? He felt his heart sink. This was going to be hard. Ringling College of Art and Design. Ringling? She struggled with the English, foreign in her mouth. It's the number one computer animation program. He picked at his thumbnail, not looking at her. Where? Uh, where is it? The States. Oh. He could hear the questions she didn't ask. I'm not confident I'll get in, but... You will. I've seen what you used to make for Nino's music videos. Sorry. Is there... Um... An instructor there that you'd like? Or is it just because it's the best? Because, y you know, it, it doesn't matter how good a program is if you don't apply yourself and work hard. Ladybug. I mean, then again, sometimes you can't get far if it's not a good program. Uh, contacts are half the battle, aren't they? And you'd have to get a visa. Can you get a visa? Would you... Ladybug. Even be able to with your father and all? N not that he defines you, but, like, you're in charge of his assets. So, like, I don't know how though that works, but surely it's too soon for you to just pack up and go. I mean, it's a school in another country, after all. It's not like Marinette. She stopped, hands gripping the box, 
and she turned to him, eyes wet. I'd miss you. I know. But this way, she wouldn't have to keep taking care of him. I'll miss you too. I thought you said you hadn't gotten in yet. You're the one who taught me wishful thinking, remember? Right, yeah. How silly of me. She rubbed her face, then stood up. Sorry, I'm gonna, um... This was it. He put the nail in the coffin, hadn't he? I know it's a lot, but... I'm gonna go, uh, get a cake. Yeah, a cake. To celebrate. Ce celebrate your application, that is. Wow, Adrian, that's huge. I know you've talked about animation a lot these past few years, but I never thought your father would let you move to California. So, a uh, cake. Yeah. Cake. Adrian didn't try to stop her. He could recognize the need to be alone when he saw it, however spotted it may appear. This was the right choice, for him and for her, even if it was hard. He could do hard things. How could he love being himself if he felt like a burden? <sighs> but this next part would be hard, and he'd pull to the trigger too soon. What if he didn't get in? Would he leave anyway? There's a ton of opportunities across the ocean. He'd have to renew his contract, but then at least he'd be gone. He'd be gone, and he wouldn't have to live in a haunted house. You good, kid? Plag floated out from behind the Super Mario packaging. I will be living the dream. Maybe regretting the dream. I think my dreams evolved. Like a good cheddar. Huh? Just scrape off the mold and you'll be fine, kid. He laughed at his Kwame's attempt at cheering him up. Thanks, little guy. My therapy comes at a price. There's a new box in the kitchen. You're the best cat noir ever, you know that? I can second that. Ladybug stepped through the window, box in hand. Her eyes were a different hue than her suit. Here, um, Dad is super excited. He froze the frosting decals a while back and stuck them on, but they might be a little hard. Oh. A flicker in his chest burned so hot he might cry. Thanks. Let us eat cake, she sighed, plopping next to him. Cheesecake? Plague chimed in, lingering in the doorway. No, not cheesecake. Hmm. So, well then, want to eat? We can turn on a movie or something, save the gingerbread house for another time. Yeah, sure. Adrian stood up to get the remote, and when they sat on the couch, he couldn't help but measure the distance between them. The distance he'd put between them. The distance he'd chosen to put between them. But for once, it felt nice to be sad. When you're sad without reason for a long time, it's easier to embrace reasons to be when they drop by. You're not crazy after all. You're just sad. And you have a reason to be. And that was him. Sad on a Thursday night. Sad, but not alone. Sad, but with cake. Christmas movie, and a friend. Thank you so much for listening. Okay, Xerxes, I'm done. You can come in now. Come here. 
Oh, now you're not gonna meow at me? Wow, okay. Um, for those of you still listening, comment studio pet. It's okay, you can come in. They wanna hear you meow, I know they do. Sniff, sniff. Yeah, because they never let you in here on your own, huh? And every time you come in, I pick you up and I put you in the bedroom. Whatever. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!